Welcome Leo, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now from Spirit, using postcards from Spirit, Grace cards and the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, let's get a postcard for you. One postcard for Leo please. What does Spirit want Leo to know? Okay Leo. Here we go. Dearest you, we bet you must be so exhausted some days, giving as much as you do, sharing your energy so beautifully in service to the highest good can leave you feeling depleted like an empty well. If it feels as if there's no more water for you, the good news is we have a plan. Today, Go take a relaxing bath, book a massage, read a novel, buy yourself flowers or plant some in your garden. Make time for self-care, not more work on yourself. By tending to yourself now, you are reminded to do so more often. And be sure to use a word that might, might have caused you anxiety in the past but is essential for your well-being now no say it with us no thank you no i can't you do not have to explain just say no gently but firmly then go for a soak life will wait for you to bring yourself back to center replenished and ready for more adventure. We love you so very much. Beautiful Leo. It's time for you now. It's time for you. Okay, so let's have a look what else Spirit wants to tell us about this, eh? Let's have a look. Well, one, okay. Didn't have to ask. Spirit's on it. Okay, the first card we have is Strength, and then we have Compassion, and then we have, wait for it, Honour. Okay, so let's have a read of Strength. Face your fear. Every challenge is a blessing in disguise, a gift that makes us stronger, the more conscious, and ultimately, more alive. Nice. Mm. it's you know it, it's so hard sometimes though to see those challenges as a gift when you're in it but really it's the best way to get through it you know to see what it's teaching you to see what you can learn from that right to see what you can overcome tell me more about this for leo two more cards Right, okay, so Leo, what have we got here? Let's get this order right. Okay, so the first two cards here, look at this, wow. This is beautiful. You've got this brand new beginning here, a fiery, passionate beginning, right? It's sort of like this creation of your life that is about to happen, yeah? Yeah? Or that is in the process of happening. It is in the throes of happening now. Okay. And in order to, for you to embrace this. It's important for you to practice this self care. Okay. The next card we have here is morality. And there seems to be this sort of going between. Going between. There's this stuff in your mind here. The stuff in your mind that is keeping you stuck. Keeping you stuck, Leo. Keeping you caged. Keeping your hands tied. Okay? Potentially preventing this new beginning from being executed in full form. It's not that it can't be, but if you want that to... Um, 
to reach its capacity of what it can be and grow and grow and grow, then it's important for you to drop the restrictions that you place upon yourself in a mental capacity. Okay, yeah, change. Look at this. There is massive change happening. Massive. Right? Which is good. For some of you, it may feel like that's not good because sometimes we don't like change. Yeah, sometimes change can be scary and it can be daunting and shocking. It's also necessary. It's necessary to move, right? It's necessary to keep it, the wheel turning, okay? Because the wheel is always turning, right? In a voice, yeah. This, yeah, look, this is the next card here. Going into the silence to allow this inner, vo inner voice to tell you what it is that you need to know because you actually do have all the answers within you here, Leo. And it's the silence that will allow the inner voice to be heard. Okay, so this is about you connecting in with yourself. This will stop that. Okay. And with change happening here, to know which direction to go in, it's important for you to connect in to source. The truth of who you are, ultimately, is what the source is. We have rightness as well. And this here, this is... This is about you growing what it is that you want to grow, okay? Being able to harvest the fruits that you wish to harvest. So I suppose it's being very mindful of what that looks like, okay? Thinking about the end result first off and stepping each step backwards to where you are now so that you can see what it is that you need to do. And obviously things may change, you may go on a bit of a tangent. There might be extra steps that you weren't expecting. But it just gives you a bit of a plan of what you need to be tackling. Okay? And also, it gives you an idea of what is important to you. So rather than saying yes to everything, say yes to only the things that are going to get you to where you want to go. Okay? We next have compassion here. Be gentle with yourself. You are a magnificent soul. Beautiful. Beautiful. Be gentle with yourself. You know, the storm is passing here, Leo. And um, for some of you, you feel very vulnerable right now. And that is understandable. And this is where even, you know, this, this postcard from Spirit is saying to you, be gentle with yourself. Take care of yourself like you would other people, okay? Two more cards for Leo, please. Nice. They all landed on the table. I am loving that. Loving that. Okay. Okay, so that came out like that. Right. Participation. This is this is you participating as an active component in your life. Putting yourself on equal grounds to every other component in your life. Not putting yourself below or above, but on equal ground. Okay? Not putting anyone else below or above everyone on an equal ground to achieve what it is that needs to be achieved here. Because it seems as though there's a common goal. There's a common goal in some situation. Okay? This here is trying to... It, it, this is, I feel like, for you, Leo, having all the pieces that you need and trying to conjure up some sort of picture to make it look like something, but it's Things aren't quite fitting, so it's almost as though there needs to be this time to take a step back and go, okay, what's important, what works, what doesn't, 
what do I need to do in order for this to fall into place? Okay. Sharing. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Now the queen, she shares um, in a way, she shares her heart. She shares her everything that she has, all her knowledge, every, all the fruits of her labor. You know, there's, there's an energy about her, her, an essence about her that she is open to sharing. But the reason she can share the way she does is because she can receive equally the same. It's, it's a reciprocal, a relationship with everyone that she shares with. Okay, so in that regard, this is important for you to be aware of, to be open to sharing and receiving. All right? And then we have completion here, the last piece of the puzzle. You know, and maybe this is it. Maybe this is you opening up to the sharing and receiving in order to complete the last piece of this puzzle. You know, maybe this here looks like a hot mess until the last piece of the puzzle goes into place, right? And you know what that is, Leo. And you, if you're not sure, you can find out by going into the silence and allowing your inner voice to speak, okay? So the next ones we have here is flowering and creativity. Look at this, beautiful. This is you coming into your own. Coming into your own and expressing yourself in a way you never have before. Really opening up. You know, this is the flower of life. This is the flower of life that becomes open from you being authentically creative and allowing this new beginning to take place. Okay, okay, Leo, the next card we have here is honour. Honour. Care for your soul. Honour the divinity within you by practising extreme self-care. Yeah, wow, wow, I love this. And I just love that these cards are so in line with the card from Spirit here, right? Care for your soul, because it is your soul that is here, having this human experience, you know? And so by practicing the self-care, you care for your soul. You honor that. The sacredness of your essence, which is a beautiful thing. Okay. All right, one more card, one more card here for honour, for Leo. One more, thank you. Okay, care for your soul. Yeah, see, by doing this, this brings in your tribe. This brings in the people who are your people, who can join in you, it, sorry, join in with you to care for your soul. And ultimately, by doing that, you care for everything else around you and everyone else around you you know you want to pour your love out to people pour it into yourself first this is the ultimate act of caring that we can do open up your heart to yourself because if you can't open it up to yourself how do you open it up to anyone else you know, and this is the thing, right, with this card, compromise here. If you're not opening up to yourself, it, it, it may very well feel like whether this is in a romantic relationship, a job, a friendship, any sort of relationship that you have with another, it will feel like you're compromising all the time because the heart isn't open. And worst of all, Leo, you'll be needing to compromise with yourself. And how does that work? How does that work? Okay. So, honour the divinity within you. 
letting go, letting go, walking away from those things that do not serve you, such as this. Anything else in your life that keeps you caged, that keeps your mind in a muddle, that keeps your, 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 you blinded to the truth, you know? And there may be even things that you don't want to see about yourself. Self-evaluation is incredi incredibly important when it comes to self-care. Because if we can't be honest about ourselves, with ourselves, we're not going to care for ourselves in a way that is needed in order for us to fulfill the dreams that we wish to achieve. Incredibly important. Patience is another one. Letting things take their time to grow and that will grow through being nurtured and loved. We, we, we can't plant a seed and just expect it to grow without watering it, feeding it the nutrients that it needs, giving it the sunlight that it needs. It needs all those things and we need to be conscious of that. And it's the same for us. We need all those things too. Yeah? Clinging to the past here. Mm, this is an interesting one. This is really interesting. This is putting this box over your head. The box to me represents darkness and you can bling it up all you like but if the darkness isn't being let go of and acknowledged and released blinging it up is not going to help again this is about honesty with yourself okay because there's this internal battle going on there's a connection that you want to make. There's a connection that needs to be made. But how can you make the connection with a box over your head? Yeah? So, yeah. Okay, Leo, let me read this to you again. Dearest you, we bet you must be so exhausted some days. Giving as much as you do, sharing your energy so beautifully in service to the highest good, can leave you feeling depleted like an empty well, if it feels as if there's no more water for you. The good news is we have a plan. Today, go take a relaxing bath, book a massage, read a novel, buy yourself flowers or plant and plant some in your garden. Make more time, sorry. Make time for self-care, not more work on yourself. By tending to yourself now, you are reminded to do so more often. And be sure to use a word that might have caused you anxiety in the past, but is essential for your well-being now. No. Say it with us. No, thank you. No, I can't. You do not have to explain. Just say no, gently but firmly. Then go for a soak. Life will wait for you to bring yourself back to centre, replenished and ready for more adventure. We love you so very much. Very good, Leo. I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.